Good morning, Lions. Today is Thursday, December 9th, 2021. Welcome to another awesome day of learning here at Lamore Elementary. We are so excited you're here and we know it's going to be a great day because you are going to roar like a lion. Respect on task, achieve, and responsibility. All right, Lions. Um, now, today's weather is rain. <laughs> it's supposed to rain all the way up to 11 o'clock, um, which would take us through recess. Or, and then hopefully for lunch we'll be okay. But we may be on rainy day schedule for lunch. We'll just play it by ear, Lions. Um, but we will most like we, we're going to be on inclement weather schedule um, for the morning. All right, Lions. Um, and we are supposed to get to a high of 55, but the great thing about having all this wonderful rain is that our green air quality flag is flying, which means the air is good for everyone. All right, Lions. Um, birthdays. All right, we got a couple of birthdays today. We have Sophia Avila turning six in Miss Kennedy's class and Emma Rodriguez turning seven in Miss Walker's class. Happy birthday, Lions. All right, and then um, attendance yesterday, we had 50 absences and 42 tardies. That was 455 out of 505, 91%. We were so close to 92, Lions. Let's hope today we get our 92. All right, um, now Lions, I've seen some of you getting very kind of, um, here's a, a college word for you, lackadaisical. Okay, about wearing your mask. They're like this, they're like this, or oh, we take breaks in class. No, ma'am, no, sir. We wear our masks in class all the time over our nose as we're supposed to. If you leave class to go to the library, you better have a mask because Mrs. Rocha is going to send you back to class and you are not going to be coming in here to the, ca to the office to get your mask because you should have had it on when you left class, which means you weren't wearing it in class like you were supposed to anyway. So Lions, you have to wear your mask in class. I know, it stinks, it's no fun, we have to wear them too. So put your mask on and wear it all day, Lions. In the classroom, in the library, when you come into my office, okay, wear your mask. All right, Lions, um, a reminder that with all this rain, we could be getting fog, so keep track of that fog app or go to Valley, um, pbs.org or channel 18. Now, because of the rain we're supposed to get next week and the fact that Friday is a minimum day, it's not a, a regular school day next week, uh, Mr. Creo has decided to push up our reindeer run to Friday. Now remember, our parent club has donated gift cards. So if you are the winner of your grade level, you will get a gift card. So it is also gonna be smart for you guys to wear your tennis shoes or running shoes to be safe because it will be wet tomorrow when you guys run. Cut. All right, Lions. Um, trivia question yesterday. What caused Santa to need Re Rudolph's help to guide Santa's sleigh? Because it was foggy out. We know that better probably than anybody because fog happens quite a bit around here. Thank you, Serenity Martinez, for getting us that answer first. I, everybody who sent me the answer got it right. She just happened to be the first one. All right, here is today's question. Which famous poem popularized, Miss Garcia can't talk today, made popular Santa Claus? We didn't necessarily always call him Santa before this um, because, you know, Santa Claus has very different names. He has lots of things people call him. But what poem made it famous to call him Santa? All right, and I bet you guys have heard this poem before. All right, and also a big shout out and thank you to Miss Mack who um, set up our science, um, the physics department from Fresno State. We're gonna try to work on maybe getting them back when the weather's a little better um, and get everybody a chance to see. But I know several of you guys got to go and see. I know Mr. B and several other people got to lay on a bed of nails, which I'm so glad I was not there for because um, it would have freaked Miss Garcia out. Uh, so, but that was really exciting and you guys did awesome. And um, so we're gonna work on trying to get them back. But thank you, Mrs. Mack for setting that up. Also to our spelling bee yesterday, you guys, it was so much fun to be part of the spelling bee again this year and to have it live and get to see everybody. And um, it was tough competition. You guys did great. So I want to announce our first and second place winners from each grade level. They will go and represent us at the district spelling bee in January. So for first grade, we have Selena Tafoya came in first place and Leila Jose second place. 
For second grade, we have second place, Isaiah Torres, and first place, Richard Duarte. In third, uh, third grade, we have second place, Zayden Limbeck, and first place, Penelope Avila. In grade four and fourth grade, second place was Raul Luna, and first place was Alex Santian. And in fifth grade, second place was Carter Kootenay, and first place was Josiah Contreras. In sixth grade, our second place winner was River Kuman, and our first place winner was Joelle Martinez. All right, awesome job. And we do have our alternates. So those students who came in third and fourth, if a first or second place winner cannot fulfill their duties um, in January, you will be in their spot. So make sure you're continuing to practice. All right, Lions, um, stay out of the puddles. Okay, when you're walking to lunch, when you're going to the, the um, nurse's office, those kind of things. Miss Erica is out for until 10 o'clock this morning, so we'll hopefully get a um, fill-in nurse there. But um, teachers, please keep an eye on your email in case we need to send students to the office. Um, and other than that, I think that's all I have for this thrilling Thursday. Remember to make good choices, Lion. And remember, we are one school, and we have one goal, and that's to learn every day. Success is not an accident, it's a choice, and I want you to make that choice today. All right, Lions, it is now time for the flag salute.